Hi everybody, it's Michelle with Grapevine Magazine and you are not going to believe where I am today. I'm in beautiful downtown Port Hope at the Capitol Theater and we are chatting with Rob Kempson, the Artistic Director. Hello Rob. Hi, how are you? Great, thanks. So um, I want to let our readers know um, a little bit about the theater, some of the shows that we have upcoming. Um, I have to say folks and uh, I was here last week with Shirley Valentine, well, to see the Shirley Valentine, and I hadn't been in a theater for two years, and it was the most fantastic experience Thank you so much. I had. I just, it just, it was wonderful. She really did a great job. Well, you know, it, it really kicks off the summer season well for us. And what we're looking forward to is the next three productions that we have on stage at the Capitol, all of which play between now and September. So there's always something to do here all summer long. Uh, first up is The Ballad of Stomp and Tom, uh, which is a show that not only is a tribute to Stomp and Tom, and of course you hear all of the great songs that you know and love, but it actually tells the story of his life. Um, um. And his his life story is fascinating. He's a really interesting guy who had a really difficult childhood and came out this sort of Canadian icon. And we're telling it with a cast of all actor musicians. So everyone on stage not only is an actor in the show and plays lots of different characters, but they also uh, play all of the instruments. There's no separate band. I just got goosebumps. It's pretty spectacular. Love stuff like Tom Connors, <laughs> right? Well, and we've been doing uh, rehearsal upstairs. Actually, I just came from there, and you know the the class of musicians that we have in this show. Uh, the arrangements are amazing. We have accordions. We have fiddles. We have stomping, of course. We have bass we you know it's a it's a really full sound and it's a lot of fun to watch these um actor musicians figure out how to navigate all of that so that one right. plays from june 9th to july 2nd and that's the 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 next show on stage here at the capitol okay and then after that we've got obviously a little bit more of a sun, summer lineup we do yeah prairie nurse is the next one i was one. curious about that one prairie nurse what's the background story for that yeah it's by mary beth badian who's a canadian playwright and this story is actually based on the true life story of her mother's immigration to Canada from the Philippines. And so what happened was she moved to Canada in the mid 1960s to small town Saskatchewan and there she was a nurse at a hospital. And what happened of course at that time in Saskatchewan is that there was another Filipino nurse and none of the white people could tell them apart. Oh. So that is the perfect setup for a farce and so she's written this absolutely hilarious piece about something that's actually kind of uh, fascinating about our culture and our community and also about you know the way that Canada has changed. And so uh, you get to laugh a mile, you'll be rolling in the aisles, um, all sorts of great humor. And that one plays from July 14th to the 30th. Awesome. And what other, um, you, know, you don't just only do theater here at the Capitol Theater. What other sort of events do you have? You're, you're totally right. You know, the summer really is our theater season because the last one of the season is Little Shop of Horrors. Mm -hmm. But we also have concerts going on throughout the summer um, upstairs in our intimate Skullthorpe venue. Um, we also do tons of partnerships. So on June 1st, we're going to be showcasing the students from Ganaraska Trail Public School Wonderful. here on stage uh, alongside the classical group, the Griffin Trio. So, you know, for us, there's three main things that we're always looking to do. Artistic excellence, celebrate the diversity of our community, and then engage with our community. And so that looks like all sorts of different partnerships, but it also looks like us making sure that we go out into the community and interact with our partners, sponsors, and friends. Right. Um, how can people get involved with the theater and support um, what all has been going on here? Because there's been big renovations. The um, managing director, Aaron Pierce, has done a wonderful job. I know it's been a team collaborative yeah. effort um, with that upstairs room and, and everywhere uh, uh, in the theater itself. So, yeah. Yeah. There's lots of different ways to support the Capitol. The number one way you can support us is by coming to see a show. We want to share the work with you. That's the number one. So, um, you know, there's still uh, opportunities to get tickets to all of those summer shows, and we hope that people will come out and see the show. That's the number one. Um, also, though, you can host an artist in your home. We bill it all of our artists in local homes. Whoa. So uh, people open up their spare bedroom or their basement, and our artists stay with them, and you get a chance to connect with a professional artist from somewhere else in Canada. That's another one uh, That's great lovely. way. And then people can also become a member at the Capitol. And that's an annual donation that goes to support our ongoing operations. And becoming a member also gives you access to some private events, to some special events that help you see the insides of what we do here. So those would, you know, there's lots of ways to support. Right. And, and of course, you know, the, the, 
entire capital team is founded on volunteerism. And so we also have 160 or more volunteers Whoa. who help with ushering and front of house. So that's another way to get involved. Um, but really, if you check out capitaltheater.com, that's your best source for tickets, for box office information. That's your best way to find out more about the shows that are on stage and to find out about how you can get involved at the Capitol in all sorts of different ways. Thank you so much, Rob. Oh my gosh, I really thank appreciate you. you taking the time <laughs> from your very busy schedule chatting with us here and um, for being in Grapevine Magazine. Hey, we love being in Grapevine. It we're is... hopefully gonna, we're gonna get the word out to everybody so that we can remind them far and wide <laughs> what the what Capitol want. Theater is all about and all the great performances. Well, so. thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you at the Ballad of Stomp and Tom next. I am excited about that one because I have still to this day a record of Stomp and Tom Connors that my parents had. So. Well, there you go. Yeah. That's it. It'll be revisiting your past, but in a new way. Exactly. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.